The new pavement outside the JK Food Mart in Winter Haven is a prime example, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says, of the subprime work of traveling scammers preying on unsuspecting Floridians. If you've never seen scammers in real life, here's your sign. Turns out a deputy just so happened to notice the workers and their out of state license plates. That was an instant giveaway that some wrongdoing may be afoot. The sheriff saying the unlicensed scammers started out wanting $5,000, upped it to $7,000, then tried coercing the business to pay $5,000 for more. They were operating under the title County Asphalt and Trucking LLC, which has no permanent presence in Polk County. So they not only do shoddy work, or incomplete work or no work at all they'll also jack up the price it all has to be right now we can do it right now while we're here it's high pressure selling when they rip you off the sheriff says there's likely more victims out there 36 year old Raymond Wolk from Michigan turned himself in and has since bonded out deputies are still looking for these two Henry Stanley from New Hampshire and David Menjahar from Texas I'll promise you, if they have an out-of-state tag and an out-of-state business name on the side of the truck, they're going to be operating outside of the law. They just always are. These are called travelers. They move around. So the bottom line tonight, if someone shows up at your house or business asking to do work, ask a lot of questions before you just go ahead and pay them thousands of dollars. And if you see out-of-state license plates, like the sheriff said, Cynthia, that should be a major red flag. Yeah. Back to you. And that's a pretty obvious clue to watch out for, too, so that's for sure. Thank you so much, Josh.